Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So if you watched my last video, I did a like kind of overview of um, my 2016 bullet journal, which I started at the end of August. Um, so I thought I'd show you kind of how I set up my 2017 bullet journal. It has a similar kind of layout that I've done in the past, but I did mix some things up. So um, for Christmas, actually for my birthday, my brother got me this bullet journal. It is by Peter Popper, I think, and it's... Um, their grid one so it's a little different than my moleskin my moleskin is like my favorite um you can see it's significant this one's significantly larger um than the uh, moleskin so it does give you more space but i love the moleskin like the paper so i'm gonna say i'm happy with this one so i'll stick with this one for 2017 but i think in 2018 i'll switch back to the moleskin because that was my favorite and my brother gave this to me so it's a little special because he didn't have to do that so yeah without further ado let's just get into it okay so let's open this up here so to start out i first have um i have my contact information in the front it doesn't have one like the moleskin one has in the beginning so i just put it there just in case i do end up losing it like my phone number and email and all that so yeah i wish i did not put the key in here this time because i did not end up using it but for some reason i decided to put it in here and i wish i hadn't um i never ended up using it and i kind of have in my head like i know my like like I know what I use, like my code and key for all this. So I wish I hadn't included this in here, but oh well. So here I first have my index. Um, so here is just kind of like the stuff like that I'll be adding to throughout the year. And then here we're finally into the month of January and then I just have it all listed here. I wish, I think I should have done a little bit more too because I feel I like might run out of space. So, I don't know, fingers crossed. I feel like this is still quite a lot. So, yeah, we'll see how that holds up. So, moving on, I first have, like, I've seen people do, like, a thing, like, where they have, like, a theme. Or they have, like, a doily and they do that here. And I didn't have that with, like, scrapbook paper. So, I found this on um, Google. And then I included, like, the Thrive. Like, this is my theme for 2017. So, I thought this was, like, a neat feature to include I <clears throat> was like I thought this was really pretty and all that so here I just quickly have a overview of all the months and days and all that because it's always good to have these things I think so because I always refer to this a lot and so moving on I have important dates so these are mostly birthdays as you can see like for some months there's blank like there's no birthdays so this is how I just keep track and so when I set up each month I'll look to see whose birthdays it is and all that and include that in my monthly calendar so that I know and then like I can add to my weekly one. So moving on, this is my books read during 2017. So up in the corner here, my goal is to read 50 books and then I'll just scratch it off once I get to like five or whatever. So for January, um, I'm currently, I've read one. I'm almost done with It Ends With Us. Um, by Colleen Hoover and then here I have one that's the Vagina Monologues which is Emma Watson's uh, Goodreads like book club book for January or yeah January and February so I, I'm cert like I'm working on that one as well so I really like this because then I can keep track and if I like the book I'll put a heart next to it so it's easy when I do like my 2017 like my favorite books of 2017 I know so here I just keep like a number of how many that I've read the title how many pages and then the rating so then I can easily keep track of that when I do like my monthly wrap-ups and all that so yeah here is also my TBR pile because I'm at school I don't have my bookshelf to look at because I didn't bring all my books here with me um, so that I know like what's on my bookshelf and like maybe like if a title I'm interested in that I can get from the library and whatnot so each title has a open circle and if I write it like I have here and then I'll fill in the circle so that I know the goal for 2017 is to have all these read because I have way too many books that I have not read yet that have been on my bookshelf for a while so moving on I have my pre-orders so these are broken down into books TVs and movies and then music and so I currently have two here like these are books that I pre-ordered I know a secret um, which is a Tess Garretson novel and then here so like when I get them I'll check it off and all that's so that way I can keep track of like my pre-orders because it 
there's been times where I pre-order something like months and months in advance and I forget about it. So I have this here to kind of keep track of everything. And then I have here the movies that I've watched the year um, so far so I can keep track of like the movies that I've watched and all that. And then here is where I have kind of where I keep track of the teas that I've liked. So I have it broken down by black, green, rooibos, and herbal. And like these are my favorites. I love these. Um, and I had saw this cute little drawing on Pinterest of this little tea bag, so I thought I'd include that in here as well. So here is where I keep track of my TV shows that I will be watching. So this is TV shows that are currently on air for the 2016-2017 season. And so um, some of them I don't know how many are going to be in um, each season, so I have it planned out usually if they're like in the 20s or something. So. Yeah, that's what I have here. So this is like the current, so I have like the TV show, the season, and then how many episodes there are for that season, like for Bones, which is in its last season, which is really sad. Um, so I have like Bones, season 12, and then the episodes, and then once I watch it, I cross it off. So this way I can kind of keep track of what I'm watching, like this is currently what's on the air. And then moving on to here, these are two shows that I are either on Netflix or I have on DVD that I want to watch um, throughout the year. So I'm a stickler. I finished watching The Office and so I started watching One Tree Hill and I got halfway through season 5 and then I started watching The Office and I was like, well I need to finish The Office first so I can go back to One Tree Hill. So that's what I've been doing. So once I finish One Tree Hill I can kind of explore more TV shows. So these are the ones that I kind of want to watch or get into um, throughout the year. These ones mostly are the ones I have on DVD that I want to go back and rewatch or have watched in the past. And then this leaves room for more. And I left this one blank because it's for the 2017-2018 um, season, so like TV shows and all that, so then I have a separate one for here. Um, here is where I keep uh, my savings, like things I want to save for, for like my school fund, a travel fund, and then a puppy fund. Um, so once I graduate school, I want to get a puppy, so then I've already done my school savings and all that, so now I'm working on the puppy and then the travel fund which will come there for um, that. I did like, it ended up being like a, my first wrote it out, it ended up being like this neon green and it was ended up being swatchy so then I just crossed it out and I did something else, like a, like a little darker green, but oh well. <laughs> so here, this title is called Someday Someday Maybe. So these are like my dreams that I want to accomplish like throughout my life and things like that and then here are my 2017 goals um i'll like add to them as the year goes out and all that um a lot of them are just like school related so i'm not that exciting here is where i have um i keep track of like upcoming movies that are going to be in theaters soon um and like so for this one the only one i have on here so far is um for march 17th and that's the beauty and the beast um live version that's going to be coming out soon which I'm really excited for but like I know I'm going to add um, the circle in here for April and then Guardians of the Galaxy 2 of course for May and all that so like I still have to fill these out so like what I know like if a movie I'm interested in is coming out um, I also do the thing where I have the open circle for I haven't seen and then once I've seen it I'll close it in and all that so yeah then this is a new addition to my 2017 bullet journal. It's my favorite songs of 2017 because I love music. So currently these are my favorite ones that I've purchased in the new year. So that's the thing. It has to be from this year. That's the thing. So then I have these that I've bought this year so far. And then I have a lady time tracker. I don't think I need to explain. Um, and then also like my weight goals, like what would be a healthy weight for me and then how far I go and like the goals. So I've already started off the year to a good start and all of that. So yeah, so that's the end of like my yearly things that I keep going back to. This is like typical for what you'll see for like a monthly spread for me. It starts out with the month in this grid form and then I'll put important things um, that I can look at at a glance, like monthly things that are plans like my first day of school like when I don't have class and all that so like when I have work and all that so yeah here is where I keep um, my habit tracker so here is like I keep track of my habits so it's eight hours of sleep wake up by eight homework drink tea no spending reading 
take weight, upload a YouTube video, meet the people, which is like go out with friends, call home, and then bed by 10. So I think it's interesting to see how it fluctuates or like my patterns that I always stick to. I used to have so many on here and there's a lot that I did not end up filling out so I've condensed this list immensely and then I also have a weight tracker as well so I can kind of keep track of that so I know how far I am from my goals and all that so like these are like the goals that I have um, here and then I just box them in red so then I know like when I reach a new milestone and all that so yep. So moving on, I then have my monthly goals, like things that I want to accomplish for the month, and then memories. I haven't really had any um, memories so far. Um, I know I think I'm going to go to the movies on Friday with some of my friends, so I'm going to put these ticket stub here. I've, that's what I've been doing with my ticket stubs a lot. I ha also have a spending log, so it's like the date, the store, the items, if I've used cash or credit card, the cost, and then the total balance. I think this is a good thing to keep me on budget. I actually don't spend that much, um, like go out mostly, <laughs> it's groceries, so yeah. And then here... This is a new edition as well where it's my YouTube upload schedule. I have two main accounts. I have a booktube account and then a guitar tutorial. Everything's linked down below if you're interested in all that. Um, but yeah, these are the ones like the date that I want to upload everything and then what each video will be. And um, yeah, so I just, I do it in pencil because I do change my mind. Um, on like things that I want to do a video that day so that's why I do it in pencil and then once it's uploaded or scheduled I will cross it out so I think this is a really good way of keeping track of all my uploads because I will be doing like one of my goals was to upload three times a week so yes so this is basically um, what my typical meal plan was this worked really well for me um, last semester in terms of like meal planning and leftovers and all that so here in the corner I have the month and then I've highlighted the days that this meal plan will cover. I have like a little quote, usually it's from a song, and then I just have it here. Then I have, furthermore, I have it broken down by day. So these are where I keep day specific things, like if there's tasks I need to do. This is my first week of classes, so there wasn't a lot going on. And then just here I have it broken down for like my meal plan, so it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I just keep everything in here, and then I also have a grocery list or things that I need to get, um, that I need to remember to get next time I go grocery shopping. Um, here is where I have my spring semester schedule. So I have it broken down by day, and then I have it broken down by class here in terms of like the teacher, their email, and then the office hours. And this is really useful because I always forget their office hours. And here and they're all in one place so and then lastly this is the last page that I have here so far and this is my um, weekly plan I forgot to highlight the week here but yeah you can see here like I'm going grocery shopping on Friday so then I have my grocery list here and my leftovers and dinner plans and all that so yeah <laughs> So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want more of these types of like bullet journal videos that are like organization skills and all that. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!